We just looked at two methods for supporting the inductive generalization that all owls prey on mice. To illustrate our next point, let's use another bird example. If I argue that, since every swan I have observed so far has been white, therefore all swans are white, it's clear that I'm making an inductive inference. That is, it's possible for the premise to be true and the conclusion false. Even though every swan I've seen so far has been white, I could be mistaken that all swans are white. Here's where counterexamples, which we introduced earlier as a means of proving deductive invalidity, again prove useful, but this time in an inductive context. We recognize that the conclusion that all swans are white is an inferential leap to a universal generalization. Therefore, if I were to observe a single non-white swan, I would have effectively disproved my conjecture by pointing out a counterexample, a swan that's not white. So any exception to the conclusion of an inductive generalization will function as a counterexample that proves my conclusion to be false. This image says it perfectly. The famous black swans of Vienna. This is a counterexample and it's sufficient to disprove the universal claim that all swans are white. Counterexamples are very important in the process of scientific discovery since they disconfirm or falsify an existing hypothesis. When an existing hypothesis is disconfirmed, a new scientific theory needs to be devised to take its place. More on that when we turn to the unit on causal reasoning.